Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Game day is upon us. My friend Jennifer has asked me to make a recipe that would be great for game day. So today I decided to make these sliders. Come on, let me show you how I'm gonna do it. Okay guys, so let me show you what we'll be working with today. Here is my ground buffalo. This is one pound and I'm gonna cut it and get it into my bowl here. And in this bag, let me show you a trick. If you want uh, to ripen your um, avocado a little bit more, you put it in a paper bag with another fruit like an apple and it will become significantly um, more ripe because of the gas that's let, um, let, that's let out by the apple. Okay, let me get these things in here and we'll move on. All right, so I have my buffalo in there. And just from handling it, you can tell how lean it is. This is a small avocado. And this is how you cut it open, like so. And you just twist it off. And let me get a spoon or something to scoop it out. All right, I have my avocado in here. And I'm going to add just a little bit of panko. I'm going to say about a quarter of a cup. And I am actually piggybacking off of a recipe that my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, Alyssa, she uh, a couple of years ago went to a children's cooking competition. And she made, um, uh, what do you call those, turkey burgers. And she used avocado in it, and she won. So I'm kind of piggybacking up off of that. Now this here, I don't use soup mixes and stuff like that very often, but I love this. I used to get it in my local grocery store, but it's been a few years that I haven't, so I have to buy it on Amazon. And it has such a really nice herbaceous flavor and it has a lot of garlic. I'm not using the whole pack, leaving about a tablespoon and a half in here. Um, and I'm also going to add just about a tablespoon of water just to rehydrate my panko. Alright, now I'm going in with some black pepper. You can put as much or as little as you like. And I know my, <laughs> my friend Gloria at Gloria's Platter and my friends over at Mommy and Little Chefs always talk about my nails. <laughs> they check it out. You go over and check out their channels because they're doing some fantastic things over there. All right, let me get my glove on and get this all incorporated. You wanna mash up your avocado pretty good. So, and just get it all incorporated nicely. Okay, I'll get that done. All right, so you remember I said this is going to be easy. So I'm using these little uh, Hawaiian rolls that are frequently used for um, sliders. And I'm gonna be using my indoor grill here, which coincidentally, happens to be about the same size as that. So, remember I said this was going to be easy? Let me show you how easy. I'm gonna put this on a piece of foil just to begin with so I can transfer it onto my grill, but I'm just gonna make the meat in this shape. And um, I'm gonna just make like one giant burger and then it'll fit perfectly into all of those buns and then you can just cut the buns. You can put in whatever toppings or whatever it is you like. And instead of making a bunch of tiny little burgers, you can make this and cut them all. Now, if you don't have a little griddle like that, you can certainly use, uh, make little ones and use a frying pan or any kind of baking dish that's about the size of what you need and stick it in the oven. All right, let me get them on the griddle. All right, I was able to flip it on here without too much trouble. Um, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if I'm supposed to put foil on this thing, but um, I couldn't think of another way to transfer it on here without making a giant mess. So I'm gonna close this down, and then once I get um, it cooking, I will remove the foil. That's my plan anyway. All right, so we already saw the buns. Let me show you the toppings that I'm gonna be using. I've prepared these. I have some sliced onions, some pickled jalapenos. For your guests who may not necessarily like hot stuff, I have some mini bell peppers that I cut into rounds. I have some lettuce. Of course, I've washed everything and they're ready to go. Um, and any condiments you like. I know Texans love to have mustard on their burgers, but I personally, I like uh, ketchup and mayo. So that's what I'm gonna be putting, but you can, you know, set up all the condiments and let your guests pick whatever they want. All right, I'll be back. All right, this has been in, on here for about two minutes. Let me see if I can manage to get the foil off of it without it breaking apart. Ah. <laughs> that was not hard at all, okay. I'll close it down and let it do its thing. I don't imagine this will take a very long time. Maybe about eh, four minutes. I don't want to dry it out. Um, but I'll check it. Three to four minutes, I would say, because this is cooking from both sides. So we'll see. All right, so this has been going here for about three minutes. And you can see that it's completely cooked. We had a little bit of breakage and separation, but that's okay. I'll figure out how to finagle it onto the buns. So let me get everything straightened out and I'll show you how we set this up. All right, so for the purpose of demonstration, I'm only gonna, I only put condiments on these three sliders because I'm gonna be bringing these to my kids, the others to my kids and I don't want them to be mushy. So I'll put cheese on these here. I don't think it'll be matter if I put cheese, but I just don't want the other kind of condiments on it. So these three here will be mine. I'll be happy to take one for the two. All right, so I'm going to transfer um, the burger in two parts. It naturally splits, so I'll just transfer it exactly like that. All right, let me bring the other part over like that. We got a pretty good fit there. Look at that. Okay, and now I put these on top. Oh, I forgot to put lettuce. Let's put lettuce. Again, for the sake of demonstration, I'm only going to put on this side, like so. All right, and now put this on top. And what makes this so easy is that you can just cut them like this. So, I mean, if you really wanted to make all the tiny ones, tiny little burgers and put them in there individually, you can, but if you have folks coming over for game day, you wanna make things as easy as possible. All right, and I went to Party City and I got these little flags that are as cute as ever and they were only like $2.99. So I figured what the heck. Now you can just put them on there to be festive. Everyone's going to absolutely love them. Jennifer, I think you need to make these, honey. All right, I'll get the other flags on there and then come on back. All right, guys, look at this. If I can pick it up. I think any guest would be happy to have these when they come over to your house on game day. You can serve it with chips, pickles, whatever you like. 
Alright guys, thank you so much for coming back into my kitchen. I really appreciate you and I hope you make these for game day or any time that your family wants to have them. You don't necessarily have to use the uh, buffalo, you can use uh, lean ground beef, you can use turkey, that will also work with this application. I sincerely appreciate you, Jennifer. I hope you enjoyed this uh, recipe. And Shania, tell your mommy you need to make that with her. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you next time because you know I'll be making another delicious recipe. Bye!